what's up? I'm Goldberg from The Morning Show on 99.9 The Point. Hey everybody, it's Charlie Barnes, K99 Radio. Hi, I'm Shelby. I'm a web contributor at Town Square Media. I'm Justin Tyler from Try 102.5. They just wanted to wish all the dads out there a happy Father's Day coming up here. Okay, so what's an annoying or embarrassing or funny thing that your dad does? I don't really know where to start. <laughs> the most annoying thing my dad does is his snoring. He snores like a bear. You can hear him literally floors away, but the problem is he'll sleep anywhere. My dad has always gotten his merds mixed up, which is one of the funniest things about him. My dad would be one of those who would say, well, remember, Brian, you can't have your cake and frosting, too. That's, dad, I don't think that's right. I know, I know, it's ice cream. I can't watch TV with my dad because he will talk through everything, and he will comment, and he will ask me a thousand questions. When I was little, my friends used to call my dad Cliff Clavin. Uh, who was a character from the show Cheers and he was like this know-it-all guy no matter what you talk about Cliff would come out with some kind of random fact about whatever you were speaking about and my dad was very similar and the funny thing is is that I've grown up to be just like him something annoying is my dad farts a lot he dies every morning and it doesn't matter who's in the house my dad is like the king of dad jokes like for example, he'll if I say like go ahead, Dad, go ahead, he'll be like, oh, go ahead, go ahead. Is that what you said? And I'll say, no, it's not. That's obviously not what I said. There was one time he fell asleep on the couch while he was sucking on a Jolly Rancher, and he started snoring so loud, he's like, <laughs> choking on the Jolly Rancher, and then <clears throat> shot it across the room, hit the TV. And went right back to sleep. Didn't even realize what happened. Had no idea that he literally almost died. And somehow always, is that the situation? I was like, really dad, I've never watched the Jersey Shore, ever. Are you hungry? No, I'm dad. He'd be driving us to football practice. We'd pass a certain kind of a tree. Somebody would say something about the tree and my dad would come out with this random fact while my friends are elbowing me going, Cliff Clavin, Cliff Clavin. I remember this one story, the first girlfriend I ever brought to my house. I think I was like in eighth grade, ninth grade, somewhere around there. And he passed gas when she was there. That was probably the most mortifying thing to me, but you know what? It prepared me for anything else that could be thrown my way, relationships as I got older. I guess ever since I was a little kid, he would like wake me up at like three in the morning and we'd go down to the kitchen and make these like crazy sandwiches, like with all this random stuff in it, whatever we could find, and then we would just hang out at the table and talk, but it was always at like three in the morning, not at dinner time or anything. <laughs> it's one of my favorite things we used to do to him. My brother and I in church every Sunday, my brother had the ability, no matter where we were in the pew, as we went to sit down, my brother could slide a hymnal across the pew and have it land right under my dad's butt. And to see him go to sit down after singing and then turn and actually use words he swore he wouldn't at us kids because of the hymnal was beautiful. I'll never forget those memories. Father's Day is really cool to me because um, I don't have a dad and you might say, ah, uh, but no, it, the thing is about it, dad died when I was a baby, but I hear all these really great stories about when I was little, so I was 14 months old, right? He would come home from work and he would barely pay attention to my mom and go right to me and I would go running to him and he used to call me his sweet pea. Those things that I was told about my dad have carried on into my life of being a parent or being a mother and even working together with, you know, the father of my children to help make sure that they have a complete and wonderful experience. My dad was wonderful. Uh, he is with me every single day, even though he passed away 30 years ago. Uh, he gave me my love of trucks. He always drove one, and guess what? So do I, and he's always my shotgun rider. I was dating this girl a couple years ago, and she she turned out to be real pretty mean and pretty vindictive, and I that was a pretty rude awakening for me. And I was having lunch with him and telling him about this, and up until then, my folks both really liked this girl. Without missing a beat, just leaned forward and said, Anybody who treats you that way is not worth your time. And I really took that to heart and um, ultimately found someone that I was really supposed to be with and ended up marrying that woman. So My dad's not really one of those people who has those words of wisdom that stick with you for your entire life and stuff like that. It's probably, you know, always have tubs readily available. There was something that you wanted that um, 
was really your goal in life, don't ever let your foot off the gas. Just keep on going no matter what anybody says. And uh, that was probably the best advice my dad gave me that I was like in high school. The best piece of advice he ever gave me was just to do what makes you happy. To make others happy and make yourself happy and then you'll never work a day in your life. And he's been right. If I want something, I have to ask for it. And that lesson has really transcended all the different parts of my life, from business to personal to even spiritual. You know, it's like I'm, a, I'm on a quest here. I have to make sure that the universe knows what I want for me to get what I want. So that was pretty good advice from my dad. Um, my dad is always really encouraging and supportive no matter what I want to do. So he's got a really weird daughter and he's always supported me 100%. He's the best dad ever because he's always there for me no matter what. I can call him whenever, text him whenever, and he always gives me the best advice. Uh, my dad was very special. He died in 1993, so no longer with us, but uh, fantastic man. Made me who I am today in large part. Uh, graduate of the Naval Academy, uh, went in in 1942, graduated in 46, and uh, was uh, always wanted to serve his country and be a career Navy man, and I miss my dad a lot. So happy Father's Day to everybody out there, and hopefully you will be the best dad ever.